From the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now, here's Hotline Editor, John Mercurio. Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Amy Walter. And I'm John Mercurio. Newt Gingrich called the 2008 presidential race a, quote, mixture of American Idol, The Bachelor, and Survivor. We've decided to expand on Gingrich's thesis and match White House candidates with the reality show that best applies to them. Mm -hmm. Who says we don't have fun here on Who Hotline Who says we TV? don't have fun? Who says a we've seen any do. of this? But who says we've seen any of this? This is all free-flowing. Yes. It could be great. It, if it, it, not, it, it then we'll just we'll never do it again. All right. So all right. why don't we start? Pick pick one, and we'll and we'll put them on the. I'm just going to randomly pick what I like. Uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, reality shows, uh, Little People, Big World. And I think naturally you hear the name of this, and you naturally think of one candidate uh, who it could apply to. Of course, unfortunately, he's not on our Velcro list, but his name, as every American in America knows. Is Dennis Kucinich. So we'll just sort so of we'll put just, him we'll down. We'll put him here. down there. We'll Dennis just, Kucinich, yeah, so. little people, big world. As we all acknowledge, he's a little person mm -hmm. in a mm -hmm. very, very big world. Um, I'm gonna pick Survivor, please. And I would say that has to go to the Hillary Clinton campaign, or Hillary Clinton herself. Mm -hmm. This woman who's been through a great deal, and she seems to get back. At, I actually think of this more, and this shows my age. More of the Gloria, is it Gloria Gaynor who sang that song? That does show your age, and I'm with you there. Yes. Gloria Gaynor. I will, I will survive. survive. Rather than the Destiny's Child piece, or the show. But anyway, this is somebody who you should not underestimate, given how well she's done that. It doesn't really stick, so we'll just pretend <laughs> that we know that. Just like we this didn't, show. Uh, we don't have really a prop department yet. Yeah, we don't have a high tech department. We're working on it. All right, next, Armed and Famous, mm -hmm. of course. Who could be more, uh, who could you think of more? Then Mitt Romney, of course, yes. hunter extraordinaire, likes mm -hmm. to go out there on the weekends and hunt varmints. Always armed, I think. Was Always. he? I think he was packing heat at the presidential debate last week, right? I mean, yeah, I'm pretty they had sure the, that he, uh, it was. It was some sort of a weapon. Right, of right. Sort. And famous, yeah. famous or not, he's definitely. Uh, he's definitely armed. He's and ready definitely to go. up there. Now here's the problem. Nobody wants to be the apprentice this year, right? Nobody's running as the status quo George Bush Republican candidate. Although the one person who could get tagged with that. Has to worry a little bit, John McCain. Bring it on. Thanks to his support for the war in Iraq, so I think that he may fit that in that category more so than anyone else. Did you just bite? That? I did bite that because I was hoping that I could figure out a way to hold I'll everything hold up on. together. Yeah. I wish I had a third Again, the pr the hand yeah. in so many ways. Well, here's another one that we just sort of were thinking about uh -huh. using: "Pimp My Ride." It applies so much to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, and also to John Corzine. And also to John Corzine. I mean, yeah, with all due respect, Governor, we're glad you're doing as well as you yes, are. Um, but neither of them, it's of course. It's going to pimp his ride with, with seatbelts. True. That's, that's so, how it'll work. That is so darn true. Neither of them, of course, running for president <clears throat> this year. Uh, so we're just going to leave this Yeah, on we got to leave that through. All right, so then who do you want to take next? I don't next? have enough hands. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I think Al we Gore. know. Al Gore definitely fits in this category. Although also vying for this, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, of yeah. course. Yes, two, two people who certainly like to um, discuss how much they know about a lot of things, and, 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 you know, and they do. And then my life on the D-list is pretty much everybody else Yeah, who's not named field, who we Clinton, haven't mentioned. Obama, Gore, Edwards, or McCain, or right. Rudy. But we'll just put it up on, on Chris Dodd with all it is, yes, with, yes. D, D for Dodd. It looks like D minus list, but it's, it's not. That's not, a D, that's just a D list. Right, it's a passing D. It's a it, passing D. It is. And, uh, that really, with the Pimp My Ride, the Amazing Race, re I think that we're going to have to wait for the general election when we actually have president, vice presidents, right. when, or when we start doing the VP picks. Right. Because as we know, it's a team sport, Amazing Race. So one so person true. doesn't so win. So, so we'll wait for that one. Once again, so correct, Amy Walter. Mm. I appreciate that. All right, we're out of time for today. Don't say Gingrich never did anything for you, my viewers. We'll see you next time on Hotline TV.